I've just listened to a song that I've never listened before in my life. But there's a catch. Oh. <laughs> Well, fuck indeed, because seconds after I listened to that song for the first time, things got messy. But let's go from the beginning. I've been watching all these drumio videos, right? Where the drummer listens to a track without the drums and has to play the drums on top of the track without really knowing what the original drums sounded like. So I wanted to do something similar to that. But being a music producer and not a drummer or a very good guitarist or a very good bassist, just a producer, you know? I do a little bit of everything badly. <laughs> but I'm really good at putting everything together. <laughs> That's what producers do, I guess. So I wanted to listen to a song for the first time, but instead of listening to it without the drums, I listened to it with isolated vocals. So this is how it went. Rules are simple. Find a rock song that I've never listened to before and produce it from scratch just by listening to the isolated vocals. But where would I find a rock song that I've never listened to before? Well, where any other old man my age would find things they never listened to. The Billboard Charts! <laughs> so there I went, all happy, googling for the Billboard Rock Charts. And there they were, right there, in my face. Hot Rock and Alternative Charts. And in I go and... Oh! Billie Eilish is in the rock charts? Okay, is this a Billie Eilish rock song? Well, the rules are the rules. So I guess I'm producing Billie Eilish today. But will it rock? All right, I'm ready to listen to this Billie Eilish song for the first time. Hopefully it's a rock song, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it from the wave. <laughs> Just the waveforms already tell me. This is not a rock song. Let's keep our fingers crossed and maybe I'll be able to produce a rock song for you today. But maybe not. Isolated vocals only, muted instrumental here. We can only listen to the full song in the end of the challenge to see if I got even close to whatever this song really is. So right now you're listening to the full song? But this is what I'm listening to in my headphones. Vocals only. Really cool vocals. I wish I could hear the whole track right now, but I can't. That's part of the whole challenge, right? I'm still just asking myself, what, what do you think? Should I turn this into a rock song? Or should I try to make it what I think the original sounds like. Please let me know in the comments below for next time. What do you prefer? For me to always try to brute force a punk rock song out of songs? Or would you rather that I just try to keep it faithful to the real thing? Okay, I'm gonna work with this little section right here from bar 22 to bar 39. That's the pre-chorus and the chorus, I think. I don't know. That's the two sections that I think I can do something with. Uh, let's put some real drums in there and see what happens. Ah, nothing more exciting than programming MIDI drums on video, right? This is gonna be a weird video just so you know I, I did not think this true too much before I started this so <laughs> let's hope something comes out of it the struggle with drums for me as a punk rock guy is always should I go double time should I go half time I always want to go double time but you know I try to find what's best for each song I think the other way sounds better the other way around so faster in the beginning and then it becomes slower This is gonna be it, let me add the symbols. <laughs> Thank God for quantization, by the way. Let's just stop a second and, and be thankful for quantization in our DAWs, Jesus Christ, because that, that was some horrible playing by, by me. So this is what I got for drums. I don't know if it's good, but it's all I got right now. That's it. On to guitars, see if I can figure out these chords and see if I can make it heavy or not heavy. Let's see what happens. Guitar time with Julian. <laughs> Let's try and figure out these chords. The first step is always to figure out the chords. I have to trust my ears and follow the melody. But also, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna be too obvious. I don't wanna make the easiest choice. 
That's why it's always nice to figure out songs with power chords. I believe that's the real power in power chords, is that you don't have to think about minor or major, you just play and you see what happens. And you figure out the actual key of the song later. So I've been trying some different chords. So the obvious thing here would be to do this. But I think if I go a little bit weird in this pre-chorus and fall into the obvious thing in the chorus, it's more of a catchy thing, you know? Because like you, you have all this weird tension of these weird chords in the pre-chorus and then suddenly you get that relief of the really poppy, obvious chords in the chorus. So I'm gonna try that. Mm, I, I do feel like there should be a little transition chord there though. So it should be da 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 Can I pull this off in the song? Let's try it. Oh Julian, are you really just gonna stick the offspring inside this song? You're goddamn right I will. <laughs> That makes no sense with the softness of the vocals, but we're halfway there. So now we're just gonna avoid thinking too much and just keep going the same dumb direction all the way to the end. Let's do this. <laughs> bass time with Julian. <laughs> Always the question with the bass is, should I just follow the guitar or should I do something different? Let's see if I can fit something different in the pre-chorus at least. I always try to make the bass as complex as it can be, but a lot of times I fail. <laughs> Okay, so I've been trying to do something different with the bass, but really the best option sometimes just is the simple thing. So the bass is an even simpler version of what the guitar does. As usual, let's be honest. <laughs> Don't come for me bassist, please. Okay, that's it for bass. So I've been listening to this song over and over again and it still feels a little bit empty. Maybe need some keys in the pre and maybe some lead guitars in the chorus. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, that chorus was just craving for some octave leads. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a piano in the pre-chorus would actually be good. Let's see if I have any cool piano sounds. This piano sucked, so I moved on from it. I'm not liking the piano. I'm not liking the piano. I'm gonna go with all lead guitar. All lead guitar. Yeah, that's definitely the right choice. I think that's it. I could do so much more stuff to it, mix it so much harder, but the purpose of this exercise was just to see what happens, really, if I just try to make a song that I've never heard before in my life, just by listening to the isolated vocals. I think the, the, the result's pretty cool. I wish I could have found a rock song in the rock charts, but I did give you a rock song in the end. You sure did. Thank you for your service, Julian Grimm. But do you think this was the right choice? Or should I have tried something that made more sense with these soft, soft vocals? Let me know in the comments below. Your opinions always help me make the next videos on this channel. Okay, so here's my final version of this track with a little bit of mixing on it.
that's it. What did you think? Sorry for all the head shaking. By the way, I just see all the producers doing that and I thought I should do it as well, but I I'm sorry about it, okay? Really sorry. Yeah, so yeah, the vocals got a little bit drowned out by all the rock elements, don't they? So <laughs> I'm pretty sure the original is not gonna be a rock song. So I did my best with what I was giving, okay? The world gave me that song in the top rock charts. This is what I could give it back to the world. But now it's finally time to kill my curiosity and listen to the original one and see how different it is from mine. I did nail the chords though, it's just in a different order. But these are the... These are the same obvious chords that I played in the chorus, just in a different order. So I'm proud of my ears for that, but yeah. It's funny because it's not actually a rock song, but it's kind of a, a old school ballad. I would say that the, the instruments are actually real sounding, right? They're like real sounding drums. They have acoustic guitar in there. They have real bass in there. So although it's not a rock song, it still is uh, something that I didn't expect from Billie Eilish, to be honest. But it actually sounds pretty cool. I'm a little bit bored by the loopy drums. I sure prefer that they just would go crazy like mine. <laughs> but yeah, it's just how the world is nowadays, right? This is a cool song. Like the melody melody is really great and if I would re-record it totally as a punk rock song it would actually be a really cool punk rock song but yeah tell me what you think and tell me what song should I do next and if it's a song that I've never heard in my life I might choose it for my next video in this series thank you so much for watching if you like what I do please press all the buttons around me in this world that help me right now and I see you all next time thank you and bye